Good morning, everyone. This is Ankit Sharma, and this is second class of your class seven chemistry. Okay, so let's recall yesterday's class. Okay, which is matter in its composition. So let's take in a quick five minutes revision. Those who are absent yesterday, better pay attention here. Okay. Now, first is key terms. Okay, so there's a first term is or word that is matter. So what is matter? Anything that occupies space and has mass is matter. Okay. Then atom. What is atom? The smallest building block of matter is atom. Okay. Then molecule. The smallest unit of matter is molecule. Then we come to intermolecular space. so what is intermolecular space the space between the particles of matter okay that space that space the space between the particles of the matter is called intermolecular space then intermolecular force okay so there is a force exists uh, which works between the two particles more than two particles okay which is known as intermolecular force okay the force with which the particles of matter attract each other okay that is intermolecular force the next is resistance okay so what is resistance trying to stop something from happening or doing something okay that is resistance now uh, there is an activity one okay we have to classify the sub following substance into solid liquids and gases okay so uh, yesterday one uh, one one example i have done for you okay so now complete this work okay so what the solids notebooks and ice cubes okay table chalk liquids so milk and oil then honey then water and juice air so there one more option only okay which is steam vaporized water so these uh, that is the classification of this substance okay so now we uh, start from the introduction of the chapter so everything that we can think of is matter like uh, this include uh, the food we eat the air we breathe okay and everything that living and no living things okay including air also that is matter now the second page of that class so there's a definition of matter anything that occupies space and has mass is matter okay so now question arises here what is not matter so the feelings okay our thinking okay that is the uh, not example of matter now there are several properties of matter also okay so there are four properties first is matter occupies space so there's an activity also for that uh, for that uh, point what is matter occupies space and that space is Uh, occupied depends on the sh its shape and size of the matter okay so to prove that we have performed an activity also or we can say an experiment also okay so what is our aim of that experiment to prove that air is present in empty glass tumbler okay so for this what you need a glass bowl okay uh water a glass tumbler uh, or some tissue paper okay so that thing you need so uh, after what we were doing what we have done we take a glass bowl we fill it the uh, with the water okay and insert the tissue paper okay all the way to the bottom of the glass tumbler here then push the tumbler upside down fir mein kya kiya is tumbler ko straight rakhte hue seedhe rakhte hue niche ki taraf isko le ke aaye okay now then what we have do take out the tumbler out of the bowl is tumbler ko is bowl se 
बाहर निकाला ओके देन वी इंस्पेक्ट दैट ग्लास टिश्यू पेपर ओके एंड व्हाट वी हैव फाउंड दैन दैट टिश्यू पेपर इज ड्राई ओके इट इज इट हैपेंड बिकॉज ऑफ द एयर प्रेजेंट इन साइड द टम्बलर ये क्यों हुआ ये टिश्यू पेपर गीला क्यों नहीं हुआ बिकॉज इस टिश्यू पेपर इस ग्लास के अंदर पहले से एयर प्रेजेंट थी और जहां पहले से कोई मैटर ने स्पेस ऑक्यूपाई कर रखा है वहां सेकंड मैटर जा नहीं सकता ओके वो स्पेस किसी दूसरे मैटर वो स्पेस को दूसरा मैटर ऑक्यूपाई नहीं कर सकता दैट्स व्हाई दैट टिश्यू पेपर इज ड्राई ओके सो दैट इज अवर फर्स्ट पॉइंट नाउ लेट्स कम अक्रॉस अवर सेकंड पॉइंट व्हिच इज मैटर हैज मास सो व्हिच मेंज दैट पेजेस Now, our second point is matter has mass. to prove that point you know okay let's again take an example or an experiment so, so that matter has mass okay so as we know air is a matter okay and it has mass and occupies space also so let's prove it okay uh, we take two balloons of equal size okay having the same amount of air atoms are tied to both ends of a beam balance so what is a beam balance i'll make a diagram for you for beam balance here okay. basically is a measuring instrument is a measuring instrument this one is beam balance is in balloon so here balloons are and these are the air atoms or we can say air these are the air atoms so we take two balloons okay of equal size and having the same amount of air atoms and they are tied to both ends of the beam balance okay so what we have done we take two balloons two balloons of equal size and they are having the same amount of air atoms and the tied to both end of the be balance now what is the beam balance okay so there is a uh, measuring there is a measuring instrument which is known as beam balance okay so that beam is balanced when the its both end are weighted equally okay then it is balanced condition okay if one end of the beam balance is unbalanced okay then it's weighs down to that side agar iske koi bhi ek side balance nahi hogi to ye dusre side iske opposite side pe jo bhi extra mass hoga us side pe ye jhuk jayegi okay now so that we have done okay now uh, let's give the name to the this balloon that is the right hand side balloon 
okay and that is the left hand side balloon okay now what we have done if right hand side balloon is deflated okay matlab uski hawa nikal di jaye then the side of beam balance with left hand side balloon weighs down what i am saying i am saying that if that balloon is deflated agar is balloon ki hawa nikal di jaye so let's make an another diagram for that and that is the another one these are the air atoms so i am saying that if right hand side balloon if this balloon is deflated okay f right hand side balloon is deflated okay then the side of beam balance with left hand side balloon weighs down okay so that is obvious now divide the page in two portions so what is the result the left hand side balloon containing air atoms in it okay and have more mass than right hand side balloon okay this it proves air has mass okay air has mass so what is our result or conclusion conclusion is uh, the left hand side balloon containing air atoms okay in it have more mass then the another one which is right hand side balloon thus it proves here has mass okay so here one more thing is it's it's also proved that air occupies space okay because that air needs some space also in that balloon okay now uh, mahesh sir please unmute them all okay sir anyone anyone bit any doubts okay that screen is clearly visible to you hello yes sir 
ओके एंड दैट टॉपिक इज क्लियर नो डाउट ना बेटा ओके सो विल मूव टू नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी मेरी सर प्लीज म्यूट दैम ऑल सर कर दिया सर थैंक यू नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज मैटर कैन बी डिटेक्टेड बाय अवर सेंसेस थर्ड वन इज मैटर कैन बी डिटेक्टेड बाय योर सेंसेस that is your next property so first of all we have we must know what our senses our senses what are our senses sense organ of our body so first um, our skin okay our nose and our ears these are the basically sense organ of our body okay so they can sense air okay and our skin can uh, sense any time any any type of uh, threshold or uh, threshold in sense uh, any pinch okay any uh, out uh, exterior uh, activity and our nose can sense any kind of smell okay and the fragrances also and our ear can be senses any kind of uh, voices also okay so these are our sense organs so matter can also be detected by using these sense organs of our body okay uh like we can uh, we can feel all type of matter by just by touching smelling etc for example matter such as air may be invisible okay wo air bhale hi hame dikhai na deti ho but we can still feel its presence every time okay every time a strong wind uh, blows feel in uh, we feel it on our face okay beta these are the uh, examples and uh, in our hair also we can feel the air okay and through our clothes also we can feel the air so uh, let's write the theoretical portion for that topic okay so we can feel all type of matter by our senses such as by touching okay smelling etc okay and uh, for example mm, matter such as air may be invisible but we can still feel its presence when every time a strong 
अनिस साहब का ध्यान नहीं है बेटा समझ नहीं रहे हो आप बीच बीच में बच्चे भी आ रहे हैं आपके पास खेलने के लिए We feel it on our face. So that is the theoretical portion for that particular property. Okay, we can feel all type of matter by our senses, such as by touching, smelling, etc. For example, matter such as air may be invisible, but we can still feel its presence every time a strong wind or wind blows, and we feel it on our face. Okay. So, uh, may sir, please unmute them all. Okay, sir. Beta, the topic is clear. Sir, what is detected? Detected. Detected means uh, to find something. Pata lagana. Okay. That's what we are doing in many, in many. Uh, Perspective. Clear? Anything else, Vita? No, sir. Okay. So, may I just put them all again? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. Our next topic is matter offer. Sorry, our next property is uh, matter offers resistance. Okay, so we have already discussed what is resistance. Okay, so I hope uh, some of you have been go gone to a swimming pool. Okay, so it is difficult to swim in swimming pool. Okay, because the water body that resists you to move forward. So uh, and it is also difficult to swim against a strong current of wave. Okay, जैसे कोई पानी की लहर आ रही है, so उसके against swim करना it is difficult okay similarly one cannot easily walk during a storm or heavy rain okay koi bhi ek jaise heavy rainfall ho raha hai heavy matlab ki zordar barish ho rahi hai okay us waqt koi bhi aasani se aage chal nahi sakta when you uh, drive uh, using a bike okay then you face uh, very uh, difficulties okay and same in the case of heavy storm also dekho toofan aata hai तब भी आप इजिली उसमें आगे नहीं चल सकते ओके बिकॉज दैट विंड ओके दैट विंड एंड दैट वाटर रेजिस्ट वो पानी और हवा आपको आगे जाने से रोकते हैं ओके दैट इज द रेजिस्टेंस विच मैटर ऑफर ओके ये वो रेजिस्टेंस है जो मैटर ऑफर करता है अपने को दिस इज बिकॉज मैटर ऑफर रेजिस्टेंस सो वी कैन नॉट मूव फॉरवर्ड ड्यूरिंग सच सिचुएशन सो एट दोटिकल पोर्शन फॉर दैट टॉपिक अगेन so it is difficult to swim against a strong current of water okay strong current of water means uh, some something water body comes uh, from our forward from in front of us us similarly
One cannot. <coughs> easily walk during heavy rainfall or rain okay this is because matter offers resistance okay or you can use your smaller matter of a resistance may sir please again unmute them all Better the topic is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have have doubts, beta? Any? No, sir. Who is attending this class first time? Anis. Anis Sujal. Anis Sujal is present in this class. Okay. Okay, may I still mute them all again? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. So that is the properties of matter. Now, as like properties of matter, as we know, there's also states of matter. Okay. So uh, basically, there are three states of matter. matter exists in three states solid liquid and gases okay what are the states solid liquids and gas so let's change the page again our next topic is states of matter so what is the six of matter okay <clears throat> so matter can exist in three different forms of or states there is another form fourth form is plasma okay that is not in your syllabus we will study in our next class so matter can Three different forms or states. Okay. the three states of matter are so first is as we know solid second one is liquids third one is gases so these are the three states of matter now we will discuss one by one all the three states of matter okay first in solid state okay in solid states as we know matter matter are built uh, using uh, made of and tiny particles okay uh, there are uh, many uh, forms of that particles uh, they they will available in form of atoms okay 
and molecules so that that particles are joined together they have bonding okay or in solid that particles are tight tightly or closely packed okay and whereas in liquid these particles are loosely packed and in gases particles are far apart from each other ye ek dusre se kafi dur hote hain okay and uh, in solid the gaps between the particles are tiny and hence it, it is tough to compress them okay this is very tough to compress solid so let's start with solid first so let's make an uh, structure for well, that solid state first let them these are the particles of solid okay See these are packed tightly. Okay, they have very less space between the between them. So that is the structure of solid. Okay, so what we have discussed first thing. in solid or in solids particles are tightly or closely packed okay and in the second point the gaps between the particles are tiny okay we can see uh, these are very very small gaps between this particle okay there is very small very small gap very small gap between this particle that is the gap the blackish portion that is the gap between these particles okay so the gap is very small so the gaps between the particles are tiny and uh, hence it is tough to compress them okay it is tough to compress them what is compress okay compress mean to uh, to con uh, किसी किसी भी चीज को छोटा कर देना ओके उसको उसको सिकुड़ना किसी चीज का सिकुड़ना दैट इज कंप्रेसिबिलिटी ऑफ एन मैटर ओके सो गैसेज आर हाईली कंप्रेसिबल ओके गैसेज आर हाईली कंप्रेसिबल एंड इन केस ऑफ द लिक्विड दे आर दे आर हाइएस्ट कंप्रेसिबिलिटी इन फॉर्म बाय गैसेज ओके बट due to fix uh, its fixed volume in liquids it is tough to compress liquids okay so they are basically neg negligible compressibility our third point is 
Now, for there's one more point. Liquid can flow and gases also can flow, but solid cannot flow. Okay, liquid and gases can flow, and but solid cannot flow. Okay, due to its rigid nature. Rigid means वो काफी सख्त होते हैं वो काफी हार्ड होते हैं ड्यू टू इट्स हार्डनेस दे कैन नॉट फ्लो दे कैन नॉट फ्लो इजिली ओके इट रिक्वायर्स अ वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर ओके देन दे आर अलाउड टू फ्लो एज इन फॉर्म ऑफ लाव सो थर्ड पॉइंट इज देर इज वन मोर पॉइंट बिफोर दैट सोलिड हैज अ फिक्स शेप ओके सोलिड has a fixed shape solid as a, as we know fixed shape and also volume shape and volume okay now let's divide the page now fourth point due to its rigid okay nature particles in solid can only vibrate about their mean position and can't move so what is fourth point due to its rigid nature okay due to its hard nature okay the particles are only only can vibrate so metals that's why the metals are vibrate okay when uh, we beat them with, with the help of some other the metal uh, metal or some another material okay so their atoms are only the particles are only vibrate about the mean position okay jahan pe unke jo particles situated hain सो so, वो वहीं पे क्या करते हैं सिर्फ वाइब्रेट करते हैं वो एक जगह से दूसरी जगह लिक्विड्स की तरह मूव नहीं कर पाते ओके दैट्स व्हाई सॉलिड्स कैन नॉट फ्लो ओके नाउ अब फिफ्थ पॉइंट व्हाट इज फिफ्थ पॉइंट फोर्स ऑफ एट्रैक्शन sorry that mic is muted okay what is the fifth point force of attraction okay as we know these particles are packed tightly okay these are packed tightly in comparison to liquid and gases let's see uh, one more example of it so that's why there's an a strong force of attraction between the particles of solid now force of attraction between particles is very strong okay and six point is mm, examples of solid we will take example of solid an example of
So what is the example? Solid ice, sugar, rock, wood, etc. Okay, so these are the example of solids. Now, Mahesha, please uh, unmute them all. Okay, sir. Meet any doubts? No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Sujal, you have to unmute yourself, right? Sujal, Rajan, Anis. Is any doubt? Ask no doubt if you have anyone. I think the topic is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. How was the today's class? Good. Okay. So, read the homework for today. Write and learn. the different entities of method. That is homework better for you. Okay. I think Mahisa. Yes, sir. 